mold toxicity, heavy metal toxicity. Now, a lot of these things overlap, right? So without, you know, specific testing, sometimes you don't know, but uh, I'm not a big tester. I just need to know one or two major things that are in people. And you can pretty much assume that everyone's going to have flame retardants. Everyone's going to have plastics. Um, it's just the unfortunate truth nowadays that we're all exposed to this and most of us in utero, sadly. And so, you know, with, with mold and heavy metals, mold and lime are very similar. They are falling under the umbrella of biotoxin illness. So therefore a lot of the symptoms overlap and there are things like you know, joint pains, brain fog, fatigue. With mold, people sometimes get static shocks on the extremities. They'll get, they'll be unable to hold their urine. I mean, bad. Like, and then it will be like urgency and frequency, almost like, you know, and you might be thirsty, almost like a diabetes diagnosis. You know, heavy metals, people have a lot of mood dysregulation, um, a lot of fatigue, thyroid issues. So there's a lot of endocrine hormonal problems with heavy metals. Um, and I actually feel, and this is just my personal opinion, I actually feel like corporate man-made toxicities are a bigger problem than heavy metals in most places. I really don't like to find mold in people's homes. It's the worst part of my job, telling them they have to spend thousands of dollars to remediate or move out. Um, and that's really the only good options and because avoidance in environmental medicine is key to healing. You have to avoid what's making you sick. And so, you know, I do go with a national company. Yes, we inspect, which is through mold finders. But again, it's this is not cheap if this is found in your house. So a lot of times what I tell people is do the air inspection test, the ERMI test, um, the EMA test, whatever you decide to do that it stands for Environmental Relative Moldy Index. You can order it online yourself. Do that test first and make sure you've got the mold in there. You don't necessarily have to have an inspector come to your house to diagnose the problem. You can actually get a relatively affordable $300 to $400 test online. And, you know, one of them even looks for gram negative bacteria, which also grows in water damaged homes. And we forget about that. And so it's really nice to, if you've had suspect water damage or moisture in the home, anything like that, to be able to have that at your fingertips and empower yourself to order an affordable test. And that way you're not spending thousands of dollars on someone to come and diagnose. Now, if the test comes back and it's too high, it looks like it's too high, you're in the danger zone. Now, what do you do? Um, I really in encourage people to go online and read and, and vet the people, the mold inspectors that you find in your area. If they're local, they should understand the detriments of mold. They should even maybe even talk about it on their website for you guys. I mean, they really should not be calling this just an allergy and just spraying things with bleach when they go in there. Um, that actually makes mold worse. You really want someone who um, isn't gonna use chemicals and fog the home. You really want someone who understands that porous things need to be cut out um, and mold isn't always visible. It's seen behind the walls. And most of the time you're looking for water damage, not mold growth. And so a lot of people in the industry don't understand understand that, which is why I go often with mold finders. And yes, we inspect because for me, you know, if the people have the means, I really want to make sure they have things done right. And that, that I can't cut corners with mold after what I know. I wouldn't sleep at night. Um, you know, if people can't afford it, we may have to try something different and work other ways with them until we can get them somewhere safer.